everyone welcome to my channel I wanted to come on today to show you uh, what I do with my scraps now everybody gets like these thin strips I don't like to throw anything away so what I did was I created these um, journal cards and these are three by fours and I just put all these strips on there and made a journal card and I did this one here. It came out so cute. I mean, you can use it for, let's say, let's say you're doing a mini album and you have a bunch of scraps and you want some journaling cards to match. You could use those scraps and create the perfect journaling card for that little mini album. Um, you know, and, you know, I just hate th throwing things away. So I love to use uh, my little tiny scraps. So I have a whole... Thing here of all my little scraps and that's what I use and you can use those uh, branding strips as well that come at the top of the papers you know like I have these ones that came on like a six by six you can use these use any scraps you want so let's get started now I had these scrap papers I was testing my printer out and I figured you know what I saved them because I didn't want to throw them away so let's use these and these are cut at uh, three by four as well so you're not going to see any of this anyways and you could always cover the back if you want as well i'm going to use this for the example so let's get started now you can use anything you don't have to you know use the whole the same paper line and this is really great too these are the um thinner paper so it doesn't make it so thick and you know we we could uh, cut it out it will be super cute if you look at this so cute right you can make really cute embellishments you know you could leave it like this too. put another piece of paper in the back so that it's covered so that you can you know have that as an embellishment as well look if you cover this up that would be really cute you know so anyways, let's get started on how I did this. So I just got a bunch of scraps here. It doesn't have to be a specific size, any size. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it. Now I'm using wet glue. Um, you could use a dry adhesive. I just prefer to use a wet glue. So I'm gonna just start at the corner here. And I'm gonna put some glue down. And let's go with this one here and put a little more so just start at the corner and you know you want to kind of save some paper as well so you want to kind of like put the shorter end and then the longer end so then you could still use that scrap for the next one that you make so I'm just gonna put that down then we'll use let's see here use this one or we can use something thinner. Um, let's see. We can use this one. Okay. And what I do is I just put the glue about the same length as uh, the width as the paper. Like this. Because I've got my fan on and I don't want it to dry up on me. So I just do it as I go along here and just butt it up right up against that other one. So there's no space and then let's see here what else do I got we can do we can do this one oops I messed up no I didn't put it all the way at the end shoot of course when I'm on camera Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just scrap that. Of course, I have to mess up when I'm filming. I was making the other ones just fine, and then, of course, I gotta mess up. So let's use another piece of paper. And let's do this again. So let's put this down. So, anyways. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Let's 
and it wasn't as hot today as it was yesterday but it's still very humid you know I live in Southern California and it's been pretty hot I mean but mostly it's been very humid so you kind of just want to make sure that you can go all the way across with your paper so let's see this is a longer one so we'll just use the bigger ones but anyways this is a great way to use all your scraps you know so you don't if you're like me and you don't like to waste just put all your scraps aside and then you know you you can make your own paper and you can use this you know for embellishments journal cards anything you want and or you can use your dies you don't you can you know if you don't want to use your punch you can use your dies too you know that would be really cute let's see here now you can definitely be more color coordinated than me Let's see if I have any other scrap that I want to use. And then, you know, you could always, you know, use, let's see here. Yep, that'll fit. You can, you know, use some other papers too, you know, stuff that isn't really scraps. But the whole point is to use your scraps. But you could always just cut, you know, different various sizes of the paper collection you want to do. Doesn't have to be scraps, but that's what the whole point is is to use your scraps so you don't waste or you don't throw it away so there's that one let's see we'll do this one next I just thought it came out really cute Put it there so, you know, like you may have cardstock, you know, this is a uh, cardstock. This is like the 65 pound cardstock. I mean, if you like had some scraps or you made a mistake on something or you stamped on it and you're not going to use it, don't throw it away. Use it, you know, to do this so you can save your paper and then re repurpose it. I think that's great because I hate throwing away paper you know I like to use every little bit I can I literally keep tiny little pieces you know like even these little tiny little pieces I make little banners you know and I still want to use it and then I always find something for it so now I just have a little bit left. We'll put this one on here. Oh, that's not. You want to make sure, like the last one, you'll be able to cover the rest of that corner. So let's put that there. And there's that. And then you can go over with the corn folder. I have this handy dandy thing here. So I just or use like a credit card and I just make sure it's all down and then flip it over go ahead and cut the, the excess off and remember save you know still those pieces there that uh, are pretty big you can use that for the next one there we go there you go really cute using all scraps then you could punch it out let's do this one let's get like all of the colors on there Let's do this one. It's kind of thick. You see? So cute. You know, so you have that punch and then this one. Or you can do a journal card. 
you know, pocket little pocket letter. You can do that. But I think it's a great way to use your scraps and repurpose that so you don't uh, waste. And you can create something really cute. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys use your scraps. Save those because you can make something else beautiful with it. But thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking my video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.